And we're back, ready to set our next most important setting. So instead of going to the Preferences menu, we're going to go one over to the right to the File menu, which will be on both the Mac and the PC. And you can choose Project Settings, Shift 9, and that's the same, of course, on Mac and PC. You can also go to the bottom right corner of the application window where you have a little gear icon for project settings. And of course, the one right next to it was the one for the project manager. It's a little home there where all of your projects live, as it were. So in the project settings, we want to go to the master settings and mine are set up to 1920 by 1080. But as you can see, you've got a number of standard definition and high definition and even up to 8K that you can choose. DaVinci Resolve is a full conforming and grading application. And as part of that, it has access to a number of different codecs and resolutions. So I'm gonna just show you how I would choose the one I want. And you have to choose the timeline frame rate. Mine happens to be 23.976. And I could also make that the same. Of course, my video monitoring, I would like that to match as well. So 1080p, 23.976. And then scrolling down a little bit more using either the scroll bar or the scroll wheel on my mouse, we get to the working folders. And these are where files are rendered or cached and they need to be set to something other than your system drive. So it looks like my cache location right here is set to the root of my media drive, but that's actually not where I want it. I've created a special location on my media drive called Resolve Media, and that's where I want it to be. And I can do the same thing here for the stills location. Notice it comes up already, but this is the only media file location I have access to. As we'll see in a later lesson, we can enable the checkbox so that all attached media locations, including network locations, will be seen. All right, so now that those two are set, if I'm gonna capture anything from tape, which I know seems less and less likely, I also need to have a location for that as well. Click Browse. And of course, I put a one as the first character in my folder, so it would always sort to the top make it easy for me to set because these are settings you need to set for every project. These are project settings, not user preferences. And there's a lot of other settings that we could go over in here, but I'm going to spare you that right now because those are the big ones. So I'm going to go ahead and click save, save those settings. Now, in this case, I have to confirm, but I don't have to restart in order for this to take effect. Now you can always go back to the project manager and use this uh, as a means of creating projects in the future that have the same settings. So if I right click on it and go down to project settings, go up to presets and I can take the current project settings and click save as to make this And then there's a preset, which I can load whenever I create another project from scratch. But another thing I can do is right click on it and choose save as and call it my 1920 by 1080 23.976 template. Then in the future, when I'm going to make projects from the template, it's just another right click, save as. Now you can reveal more information about the projects by clicking this information button. You can also look at the projects in list view, where you can see your projects and various metadata fields, such as the format and frame rate. And that'll do it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to explore the DaVinci Resolve interface.